What up, everyone? This is the Seven Queen J. How is everyone doing? Y'all, okay. It took me a while because I wanted to make sure that I had all of the details. I am going to be looking off to the side because I have my notes right here. So I am going to be looking off to the side because we got a lot to discuss in this video, honey. This video is Little Women of New York, Season 1, Episode 7. Let's get into it. Alright, y'all. This episode was a lot. It was a lot. Um, wow. It, it was a lot. If y'all are not watching Little Women yet, L.A. or New York, I don't know what you want, baby. I, I'd rather watch them than them other shows. Y'all know what I mean by that. Them other, other shows. Them other, other, and them other, and the other, other, other shows. Okay, because I, I just love them. I just love them. Okay, so anyway, let's get started. Oh, yeah, by the way, y'all, I am going out tonight. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Keon. I love what she does. Her face is on women. Yes, honey. Mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Keon. I love you, honey. But, um, yes, I'm going out tonight, so I did my face. I'm going to probably put my hair up, like, in a bomb of funky old nasty bun, honey. And, uh, I don't know, or I may just let my hair down or probably split. I don't know. But I just wanted to go ahead and do my makeup real quick, get that out of the way. It don't take me that long to actually do my hair. And then I got my exit. See, when you have a real good, let me, let me, wait a minute, let me stop, let me slow down. When you have the bum outfit, it's not an outfit anymore. It's an outfit, okay? It's an outfit because it is that. It's a, it's an outfit. And so I got my outfit up in my bedroom and, you know, everything and stuff. I don't know. I'm a Virgo. So when I plan on going out, I have to lay my clothes out on the bed to my shoes, to my jewelry, even down to my lotion, to my perfume, everything. Everything has to be laid out. I have to know what I'm wearing. I have to see it, see how it looks and also see how it's going to feel and, you know, what type of perfume is going to flow with the outfit and stuff. So I got all of that in my bedroom. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to do my hair real quick, put on that outfit, and then boom, I may upload this video while I'm, I'm either in the club or on my way to the club or on my way home. But anyway, I am here. Boom. I told y'all. So we're about to get into this. Little Women of New York Season 1, Episode 7. Again, it was a lot of stuff going on in this episode. You ain't never been never ever been to a Six Flags or Sea World. You never roll a damn roller coaster. Well, honey, <laughs> you about to ride it now because there was a lot going on in this damn episode. All right. So it starts off with them at the ski trip. See, on episode six, they had went on a ski trip and all of the cast members went. Half of the cast members actually brought their, you know, their better half stuff. So episode seven starts off with them still on a ski trip. And you have Jasmine and Dunn and they're discussing the argument that they had at the dinner table. All right. Now I have to put a snippet pause right here to explain something. All right. Lila, which is one of my absolute fave on this, on this, on this show, Lila used to be an alcoholic, and they had an intervention, intervention for for Lila. And Dawn stated that she wasn't going to drink in front of Lila anymore. Now that she know the, you know, everything that that Lila been going through with alcohol because they didn't know they knew that you know she had a little habit with it but they thought that she was just you know she was controlling it and she was okay but they didn't know how deep it got I mean it really got bad for for Lila and so Dawn promised that she wouldn't drink in front of Lila again Dawn was at the dinner table drinking and Jasmine called her out on it and Dawn is just that type of person where when you call her out on it, baby, she when you call Dawn out on something, she's going to come from for your throat, literally. She's going to come from your throat. She's going to come for your throat. She's going to come for your eyes, your nose, your hair, your ears, your neck. Not your throat, but your neck. So you got your throat, then you got your neck. She's going to come from your shoulders, baby. She's going to come 
for everything. But anyway, so Don got upset, and so they had like a, a argument at the dinner table, kind of about that. So anyway. So again, now Jasmine and Don is like sitting down on the couch and they're discussing the little argument that they had um, at dinner. And Jasmine is trying to defend herself and basically stating that she doesn't need Don to, you know, mother her, protect her. You know, she's her own woman. She can handle herself. She, you know, she lives her life the way she wants to live her life, and it is what it is. Jasmine, you know, she don't need Don to be doing all that. She just, you know, she don't need Don to be doing all that, all that bullshit. And so, baby, Don, <laughs> Don got mad because Jasmine called her out on that promise, you know, about her not drinking in front of Lila and baby. Don went for down the road again, baby. Don was like, and do you think it's responsible for you to take a prescription pill that Lila hand over to you when I told you not to, baby? I was like, that motherfucker be done, baby. Yeah, she is in law. You can tell she is definitely in law. You can tell that she is in law the way that she even speaks uh, whenever she gets pissed off and stuff and how she stay calm and collected. She, she's definitely, definitely in law. I'm actually in law myself most of the time. 98% of the time, I'm very calm and collected. But then every once in a blue moon, you know, my little... The other side of me come out. I'm not gonna tell y'all her name yet. I, I want. I'll do that in another video. But I have an alter ego for her, and you know, I usually keep her locked up in a way, and I control her. But every once in a blue moon, she come out, and you know, it is what it is. We all got a yin and a yang inside of us, but you know, most of the time she she's locked away. But anyway, and so it's so, a ouch. I just hit my knee, <laughs> and so anyway, and so. Baby, Don is just laying into Jasmine about her taking this pill that Lila supposedly had gave Jasmine the day of the intervention after Lila had supposedly had flushed all of her prescription pills that she had got from a hookup. <laughs> that she had got from a hookup. And she claimed that she had, you know, flushed all the pills. But honey, I guess she... She had it and she supposedly had hand one over to Jasmine and Dunn supposed to have told Jasmine don't take that damn pill and Jasmine took the damn pill child. So Jasmine is like all mad now, honey. She she threw with it. Through. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? We gonna start doing that. Whenever somebody make you mad, just go. You gotta do your lip like that too. <laughs> anyway, so Jasmine is is mad. And so, that damn Lila, see, I love me some motherfucking me Lila, honey. Lila is funny as hell. Lila is funny as hell. Baby, Lila walked up and told Don, you got more issues than a third world country. Baby, I about died when she said that. <laughs> Like that damn Lila. Lila got some words on her. I love Lila. I, I love me me some Lila. And Lila also stated that it was a rumor that Don is just lying about about the pills and that, you know, she she didn't do that. So anyway, while Lila and Don is kind of going back and forth, Jasmine go up to her room and she's crying, and Jordana comes in and checks on her while everybody is back downstairs at this time. Donna made her way back downstairs, so Don is back downstairs, and she's telling everybody her excuse why she protects Jasmine so much, and she's telling them how Jasmine has never lived an independent life, and that she follows Lila around like a puppy dog, and that she feels like Lila is is dragging Jasmine down the road path, which kind of rubbed me the wrong way because the one of the reasons why you were at the intervention, Don, was because you are one of Lila's best friends. You and Jasmine is actually her her closest friends and that's why she was at they were at the intervention so it kind of rubbed me the wrong way I was like wait a minute so it was okay before you know for Jasmine to hang out or whatever be Lila Pup Dog but now that y'all into it and stuff or you know now you saying that 
that it's not okay that Jasmine hangs on to her like a little puppy dog? Or are you mad that Lila and Jasmine get along better than you get along with, with Lila? And also, Lila had made a statement at the intervention. She's been making this uh, since the intervention that it's hard for her to drink around Dawn because she feels that Dawn has a problem as well with drinking. So, is that one of the reasons why you're kind of coming for Lila a little bit as well and kind of splashing her dirt on the side while you're trying to be mommy overprotective and put Jasmine so called in her place when you really need to look in the mirror? Child, you better get out that little uh, makeup and, you know, you got the little mirror on the little makeup, honey, and look yourself in the mirror real quick before you try to check somebody. Because Jasmine hasn't drank in front of Lila from what the cameras are showing, but you are. So why are you getting upset about this? But anyway, child. So, the next day, Jordana, Jasmine, and Kristen is sitting at the table, and they're talking about Dawn a little bit. And then, Jordana starts talking about her and Missy, how they've been butting heads all week uh, while they've been on the trip about the down fashion show. If y'all don't know yet, Misty uh, was offered to, to, to walk in the finale dress at this fashion show and she called Jordana over because Jordana is like as far as like the entertainment business she's like the friend to go to because she was in Broadway unfortunately the Broadway show was canceled and um, I believe it was called Side Show or Side Freak I think it was Side Show but it was canceled so she invited Jordana over to let her know about how she was going to be walking in this this beautiful dress she was going to be the final walk out for this fashion show which is very big if you know anything about um catwalking you know they if you're that last girl to hit that runway you the it girl and so for that show you the it girl and so you know Jordana went ahead and told her how you know what we're going to be walking in the same show so Misty was kind of upset because she know that Jordana is a good possibility that Jordana may steal her spotlight even if she is the final walk she feels that Jordana may steal her spotlight and she just want to be in this show by herself without having to have to share it with any of her friends if that was me Misty who cares you're getting paid to walk Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I do understand where she's coming from. But sometimes you have to just go ahead and put your feelings to the side and think about the main purpose of you even being in something. And that is to get paid. That is to start a career. So, I don't know, Misty, that, that just kind of threw Misty for a loop and stuff. And so, anyway, the next day, well, the next scene, they're back in New York, and Misty and Christy go to try on the dress. Now, the dress is this money dress. I don't know. They were throwing a fit over the dress. To me, the dress is ugly as hell. But the dress was made out of $100 bills, and altogether, the dress cost $25,000. And... Uh, Misty sees the dress. Her eyes just just light up and everything. And child, that designer. I don't know what to think about that designer. I don't know if I like her. If I don't like her, I don't. But I gotta love, and I've always loved people with the hustle. So I, mm, she she all right. But anyway, that designer child, she was she was a little tripped. And um, that's all the like that I'm giving her. I'm I'm not gonna give her any more any more light shout out to james codwell that's why i got that from. i'm not gonna give you any more i love him y'all if y'all don't know who james codwell is please pause this or after this video go check him out he's really good and so anyway misty trying to dress and she can walk honey misty can really walk her butt off i was very impressed i was very happy for her to me personally misty was awesome to me i i loved her i loved her to death so after she took off the dress the designer told her well you know we got one more girl to try out and then we'll call you let you know if you got the spot or not as far as the money dress go so Missy is kind of upset because she's like, what the hell? Okay, I was told that this is my dress. This is what I'm going to be wearing. Now you tell me one more girl. Wait a minute. Uh, Jordana? So now she's like, 
I know y'all not about to let Jordana wear this dress. And if so, I already know I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to win competing against Jordana. So she's kind of uh, feeling bad about it. And shout that damn Chris to start crying at the fashion house. Christy, you better get it together, girl. I'm just telling you, you better get it together. I was just screaming at that TV. You better get it together. You better stop it right now. You better stop Stop it. And see, that's what Christy, Christy should have looked at her like this and said, you better stop it right now. That's what she should have said to her. That's what she should have said to her. But anyway, child, hold it together, Christy. And so anyway, Lila, Misty, Jasmine, and Jason, it was very cool seeing them. Uh, they basically went to like this defense class that they learned little different techniques that they could use to defend themselves. It was very cool to see them having fun and also learn how to defend themselves at the same time. And I actually learned a couple of tips as well and a refresher as well while I was watching them. So it was very, very cool. And that damn Jason, baby, that damn Jason the hit the man, the, one of the trainers hit the man with his damn elbow in the eye. <laughs> I was like, Jason, I love my boo. I love my boo, Jason. But anyway, and also, by the way, Lila hair in her interviews is fabulous, baby. Them damn, that hair, that hair, that feather, yes. That feather flip, I love it. Her hair look absolutely beautiful, beautiful in her interviews. And so, anyway, after the, the defense class, they're sitting on the, you know, the mat and stuff because their legs and, you know, they're tired, child. I'll be tired, too. So, they're sitting down trying to catch their breath and any and all of that. And, of course, they brought up the Don situation. And it's very, very sad to see Don and Jasmine go through it. I know that Don really do, she really do got some issues, y'all. But it's still sad to see family go through it. It's nothing like seeing family go through it. It's nothing like seeing, like, even not just family but like close friends it's hard to see close friends and family members just go through things especially when something so little and so petty but anyway and so Jasmine again she's completely done with bullshit so anyway Jordan, Jordana and Don go to the fashion house so Jordana could try on the dress. Jordana was alright uh, as a walker in the dress. She was okay, but the designer also told Jordana that it was a possibility based on the feedback of the fashion show that, you know, they're going to take a group of girls and start traveling. They're going to do like this tour, kind of like Cover Girl and stuff like that. They're going to do this tour and start traveling and, you know, get these clothes out there, do their damn thing. So Jordana is very, very happy about that and everything and child first off when Jordana went there she tried on this this other dress first and she was all right as a walker and so they they brought up the money dress she tried on the money dress of course she she really didn't give me life um I just wasn't feeling it for Jordana, but the designer picked her and stuff and all of that, and she's, you know, she's happy, and Dawn is looking at her like, bitch, you better do what you got to do, because Jordana then looked back at Dawn like, oh my God, Misty, you know what, well, I'm going to tell Misty, and Dawn is like, you better do what you got to do, which I have to agree when it comes to that, because business is business, and uh, hey, there's, there's no, there's no no love when it comes to business. I mean, yeah, you can have uh, a heart every once in a blue moon, but if you really, really want to do some business, there's no love when it comes to business. So I have to agree. And hey, if that's who the designer wants to model her clothes, that's who she picked. So um, anyway, child, <laughs> the next thing, child, Missy is back at her apartment that she shares with Christy and my boo Jason then came on through, honey. He done put his panties to the side and let it slide through. Okay, anyway, I had to bust that funky down even out real quick. Anyway, and so my boo Jason came through and Misty is practicing walking in the hills and stuff and baby that damn Jason got up to show the ladies how to walk and Jason can walk out and he dropped it like it's hot on. I might be just I mean, just swoop, just move with it. Just drop it like it's hot. I may have to do that tonight. Just walk in and when somebody, you know, talks to me or something, you know, hey, babe, what's up? I just dropped. Hey, babe, how are you? 
<laughs> anyway, Jason had dropped it like this how I did with that thing. And so all of a sudden, Christina, Chris, Chris, Kristen, my bad, Chris, Kristen, Kristen gets this text message from Jordana. Jordana is basically telling her that she got the money dress. And of course, Chris, Christina, Kristen, Kristen tells Misty and Jason. So Jason is like, oh, hell no. And child, Misty got so mad, baby. I almost died. Her. Misty done stumped her foot and said, I want the fucking dress. I was like, oh, shoot. Misty's going to kill Jordana. Like, don't kill Jordana, Misty. You got to realize, baby, it's business, business, is business, honey. Yes, God. You got to realize this is business. But, child, Misty feel all hurt and betrayed. So, she's like, what am I going to wear and stuff like that? And she feels hurt. So, my boo Jason and Kristen basically is trying to talk to Misty and basically try to explain to her, you know, still be in the show. Still do your thing. Even though you don't got the dress, you still got the show. So still do your thing. So, anyway, the next scene, Jason texts Lila and basically tell Lila that he wants to talk. So, Lila told him to meet her and her cute little dog down at the doggy store, child. Jason is basically still mad at Jordana for calling him a coward. Let's pause this free wine. Back at the ski trip, they were at dinner and Jason was basically explaining to everybody how he's not financially ready to move out on his own. He's in New York. I can completely understand that. And so Jordana basically called him out and was like, don't be a coward and stuff like that, which I don't think that Jordana was basically like calling him a coward coward. I just think she was basically trying to motivate him to say, don't give up. But she just, you know, she just put it in a coward way, you know, just wrong select word choice that she picked that night. And it's still rubbing Jason the wrong way. So he's, you know, talking to Lila about it. And, you know, now he's questioning Jordana's friendship. And so now it is finally fashion show day. Y'all like that? I know y'all like that. So anyway, it's finally fashion show day. And there's a lot of talk about one of the models in the fashion show is actually going to be picked to go do a show in Paris. And so Jordana walks in, she's first to walk in, and she gets there, and she's, you know, she's kind of, like, looking around, and you can tell she's kind of nervous. I don't know if she's nervous about the show with child, nervous about Misty. Mm, I don't know, but, uh, Misty about to, boop, real quick, I, I think it's gonna happen, I think it's gonna happen. So anyway, Misty walks in, and Jordana is kind of playing stupid, you know, with, with Misty a little bit, like, she kind of don't know what's going on on with Misty like do you know which dress you're gonna wear you know she's asking her questions like that and Jordana just basically I mean not Jordana but Misty just basically asked as um Jordana you know no I don't know what what dress I'm going to wear but I know what dress you're going to wear and then she also bust Jordana on texting Kristen instead of texting Misty first and I feel that she should have texted Misty first and so Jordana claims that she texts Kristen because she was freaked out so she wanted to just text Kristen first but in the confessionals Jordana did um, admit that she kind of texts Kristen because she was hoping that Kristen did what she did and that was spilled beans that way she didn't have to so who's being a coward now boom there you go my boo Jason <laughs> just hit it up for you that was for you Jason I love you Jordana but yeah that was a coward move we have to own up to our mistakes I have always personally have always owned up to my, my mistakes recently I had to own up to a mistake you know you live and you learn that's life and if that person want to hold it against you that's them but as long as you learn and you keep moving forward who's the better person so anyway and so Jordana tells you know Misty I don't want to talk about this I don't want to bring the negative energy to the show so you know we'll just talk about this later so child yeah so anyway, she kind of shuts it down or whatever. And so they stop talking about him. And so 
Jordana go and try on the dress that she is going to be wearing. And to me personally, she looks way better in this dress than that ugly ass money dress. I mean, the money dress was ugly to me. It really was. It could add more oomph to it or something, but it was just ugly to me. So anyway, she goes tries on this dress. And so Jordana is still sad and, and the designer feels it. So the designer is trying to, you know, trying to make her happier. So once she realized, once the designer realized that there is no getting through Jordana, baby, she hit Jordana. At the let's see, Don hit for the throat. The designer hit for she hit for the kneecap. Yeah, baby, she went straight for the kneecap and told her, Well, if you lose some weight, maybe next time you'll get the dress. <laughs> I was like, Baby, no, she didn't, but you know what? I could blame her because. Here you are, I'm the designer, and you're in my show, you wearing my dress. Yes, you didn't get a chance to wear the finale dress, but you wearing one of my motherfucking me dresses, bitch. And you back here, all sad and stuff over some bull crap. I need you to wear this damn dress. I need you to get happy. But since you're going to throw me some attitude, I'm going to throw you some attitude, too. This is what it is. So, you know, she said what she said to her and it kind of rubbed Misty the wrong way. And Misty was like, I love my curves. And so, anyway, child, they put the damn dress on Misty. Misty done ripped the damn, <laughs> the ripped the damn lace on the breast part. <laughs> and so, and so the designer kind of laughed and they were like, we can fix it. And so then the designer is asking Misty, you know, Misty's looking in the mirror. She's all sad face and stuff. And so the designer is asking Misty, you know, how do you like the dress? Tell me, how do you like the dress? Like, do you really, really like it? Child, this damn Misty then told the designer, not a customer that wants to purchase the item, not a seller. She told the designer, the maker of the dress, that she looked like a bride that died. Misty, I really hope you learned something from this because I like you. I do. And you're a beautiful girl, beautiful woman, one of the most beautiful uh, characters cast members on the show but you are messing it up for yourself baby you are and sometimes we do like i said i recently messing things up as well for myself but you have to learn how to take responsibility and get back on your feet honey by now you done had some days you done had days from when you first found out that Jordana gonna be wearing that dress, you done had some days to think some things through and to get your mind right. I can understand if it just hit you out of the blue, baby, but it didn't. You done had some days, probably some weeks. We don't know how far away taping is. Get your head together. You should your head should have been in the game by then. If anything, you should have been like, you know what? Yo, Jordana got that dress and I got this bride of chucky dress, but baby, I'm about to wear the hell out this damn black and white lace dress and I don't give a damn if a if a breast pop out or anything. Thing. You should have been in straight money zone. But anyway, we already at 27 minutes. Let me get through this real quick. And so, anyway, Misty do her thing on the catwalk. Jordana comes down that ugly ass money dress, child. She all right. She she was all right. It wasn't like spectacular to me, but yeah, she was all right. And so, after the show, everyone meet up at this spot to celebrate Misty and Jordana. Lila stated for the first time she feels good hanging out with her friends and not having to, have to worry about ordering a glass of wine, which was very cool. And of course, my boo Jason, as soon as he saw Misty come in, because Misty came in first, because Jordana and Misty wasn't there yet. Everybody else was. But as soon as he saw Misty come in, baby, he like said his hello to Misty and went straight for the down. Let's see. He went straight for the down chest, honey. It was like, was there any tension? But before Misty can answer, Jordana walks in. And, of course, Jordana, you know, she's greeting everybody. Everybody's greeting her. And, you know, she's telling everybody how how it was so intense because she was the last person to walk out. And all these eyes was going to be on her and how important she knew what was going to be happening and stuff like that. And so Jordana excused herself from the table to go get her a refill on her glass. Yes. And so while she does that, Don, you know, kind of whisper over to Jasmine and it's like, why you haven't, you know, returned any of my text messages or my calls? And Jasmine's like, I'd rather talk about this in private. So they move over to another little couch and they're talking about it. And, you know, Jasmine's basically telling Don that she's still upset and she don't want to talk about this right now. So then they move back over to, you know, 
where everybody else is. And so then at that point, everybody is basically telling Jasmine how Dunn has reached out to everyone and how bad Dunn really feels. And Dunn looks over at Jasmine and finally apologized for everything. Uh, and they made up. So it was very lovely to see them. And by the way, Dunn, you, this was the best I have seen you all, all season, baby. Keep it up. I love it. I don't know who beat that face, baby, but you did it. I loved it. I, I really did. I loved your makeup and everything. You really did. You looked very, very good. And so they finally made up, but it was very good to see them finally made up and everything. So it was, it was really, really good. I'm happy for them. And I hope that Dawn does keep her promise as far as not being so mothery over Jasmine. Kind of just let Jasmine do her thing, you know. But we will see. You know, time reveals all. And so then Jordana has some good news. And she's like about to just bust. And she wants to share it with who? My boo, Jason. And so she tells Jason that she was the one that was picked to go on the modeling show in Paris. And so Jason is like all happy for her and stuff. And child, he even tell her how, you know, basically he's not going to tell anybody. He's going to let her share the news. Child, as soon as Jason got back over there where everybody was, child, he pulled Mr. to the side and let it slide through. Child, he done pulled Mr. to the side and told Missy that Jordana got the job. So now Missy is all in her damn feelings and Jasmine, I mean not Jasmine, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry Jasmine, Jason, my boo Jason, the amped Misty all up and talking about how, what he say, he said something, something like Jordana think that Misty is the leaf and, and Jordana is the, is the tree and stuff and and a child, child just, and Misty like, nah, I'm a big tree and I'm about to come through and child anyway and so misty and jason walk back over to everybody jordana is kind of feeling like okay something just happened here and so jordana went ahead and told uh no, not Jordana. I'm sorry, y'all. misty went ahead and told jordana that jason told him that she jordana got picked to go to the paris show so i'll you know of course she gets mad at jason because jason was the only person that knew and Pinned around how he wasn't gonna say nothing. Now he just said something. Now you done made a situation that just had oil. Now the situation got oil and gas, and now the situation got oil and gas and fire all mixed in one. And he claimed he did it because he was trying to protect his girls and just get it out there that way, you know. Child, Jason, my boo Jason, baby, baby, you being a little messy. You being a little messy now. You better comment on down. Comment on down. Understand you still mad at Jordana calling you a coward and you don't front you out. How you feel like she fronted you out. I get that. Trust me, I get that. But as days go on, honey, come on now. You could have at least picked up the phone and called up Jordana. Y'all could have been squashed this by now. But anyway. That's it. Episode 7 of Little Women of New York, Season 1. Please, 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 thumb up, thumbs down. I don't give a damn. Comment, don't comment. I don't give a damn. <laughs> y'all, enjoy y'all night. I gotta go uh, do something to this hair and get dressed and um, go meet me a boo. <laughs> y'all have a good night. Love y'all.